Hello, my producer, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Sunny, sensitive, and joyful today for the producers, and that's because it is Love Fest Day. What's Love Fest Day? Good question. Love Fest Day is a new holiday we've created here at Soul Garden, a holiday that happens once a month every month when the moon crosses or conjuncts Venus. That's right. One of my little brilliant moments. I was sitting down doing the horoscopes and I was like, you know what? Once a month, every month, the moon crosses Venus and we get filled with love. Now normally in the horoscopes I'm like, love yourself, heal yourself, try to be creative. But now I'm thinking, let's make this a holiday. Let's make this Love Fest Day. And that's what we're recommending. To every soul gardener on the planet, which is a lot of flowers by the way, we are encouraging you to reach out and tell everyone you love that you love them. How often do you do that? Well now it's once a month. Okay? And most importantly, you gotta go in front of the mirror and you gotta tell yourself that you love yourself. Very, very important. So, happy Love Fest Day. I love you, Taurus. Now, that said, love is the dominant vibration of the day. The moon is the ruling planet. It's crossing over Venus and Mars today. That's going to help Tauruses create a moment-to-moment -moment lifestyle. Basically, you're stepping into a new reality in the next 18 months. This reality is how you see your life. In fact, I, as a Taurus, have already noticed my reality kind of shifting. Like, the colors on the planet are a little different. Things smell differently. You know what I'm talking about? And this is the creation of a new reality. You're moving into a new era. You know when you think back when you're like in kindergarten, like how the world looked and felt, and then like when you're a teenager, how the world looked and felt? Well, the world's going to look and feel differently in 18 months, and today is the first day of you really laying the foundation of what that feels like. And hopefully, you're using love. Now, zip into the sun, you're also nesting. We're in chapter 3 of Sun in Leo, which means it's time for Tauruses to build the nest. This is the inner mother vibration, your nurturer. And the next 10 days, we're going to put your nurturer in power. Your nurturer takes care of your home, your nurturer interacts with your family, and most importantly, your nurturer takes care of you. You have to take care of you. So tomorrow is a good day of exploring ways of taking better care of you. Tomorrow is a great day to try something new. Try a high class back rub. Try a bubble bath. Try getting yourself the top shelf if you go out to drink. Take better care of yourself tomorrow and experiment. On Sunday, your astrology shows you'll likely have some sort of breakthrough, an understanding about self-care, self-mothering. It may even be that you realize something about your own mother that led you to this moment, but there's a breakthrough on Sunday, and then on Monday we start laying that foundation for that solid nest in which you can build your entire garden, the potting soil of your soul garden. All right, Taurus, happy Love Fest Day. I love you, and I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So